everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings I do want to apologize for not being able to upload uh, sooner uh, I've been extremely busy with uh, private consultations uh, with a lot of healings and a lot of spell work and um, rites that I've been doing for my clients so I do want to mention uh, the busiest months are coming up for um, you know my practice so if you guys are trying to get uh, private consultations look at the description box below you'll be able to find my personal information on there so you can contact me and book a reading um, because like I said uh, the busiest months of the year are definitely coming up and I'm going to be extremely busy so just an update and an FYI for you guys okay um, let's see what else if you haven't subscribed to my channel I highly encourage you to do so uh, comment like and share my videos before I get into the reading I do want to uh, give you guys the messages that I channeled uh, through spirit guides um, earlier today um, this is going to be for the Sun moon and rising of Gemini for September 2017 so Gemini's I was told um, <sighs> you guys have an issue learning past experiences so what I mean by that is when I hear that that usually implies that you guys continuously keep doing the same mistakes over and over uh, so try the best you can to keep away from that um, don't try the best you can not to make the same mistakes um, you have fear of detaching um, detaching from people and or things so what that means is there is some type of possessiveness going on with you Gemini's uh, I know Gemini's don't tend to be that way for the most part uh, but you guys have to try the best you can to understand and know that the moment you see a thing or a person that belongs to you you see it as uh, there is an attachment there that is connected and it's easier for you guys to move on so what I mean by that is when you're dating or when you're in a relationship you tend to see them as they're your they're an object or they belong to you um, then it becomes more difficult for you to actually accept when you're no longer there meaning when the relationship ends or when it falters um, you know you you have issues dealing with that because it's so hard to detach yourself from that again like I said most Gemini's don't tend to uh, correlate to this but this was this message was given to me so try the best you can to understand that we all come here alone and we all go here or from here alone into the astral plane so what I mean by that is yes we have soul families yes we have twin flames there's possibilities of that, of finding that in this lifetime um, but still nonetheless you have to understand that things and pos possessions and uh, or people um, anything that's material is very different from people understand that and know that I hope you guys understand this message because it did came on very strong so anyways um, learn to let go basically uh, don't be don't feel like you have to be in control all the time I try the best you can not to overindulge with food sex spending or drinking um, watch that try the best you can because for the coming months I feel that there's going to be a slight shift um, going on for you guys and in doing that if you guys don't keep that in check now it will only progress and get a little bit worse so FYI you know note it down and make sure to not overindulge in none of those things okay let's see what else uh, try the best you can to keep away from any type of contract signing anything like that uh, for the first three weeks of September um, actually I, sh I would say for the first two weeks we are on the fifth today um, so again it could be you know by the 12 14 you're good to go when it comes to signing and make, making any kind of deals but for the most part up until then please try the best you can to keep away from that if you do happen to have to uh, do any type of uh, legal paperwork or anything that has to do with contracts try the best you can to overlook them go through them you know make sure that all your all your um that you cross basically all your dots and keep that um so it doesn't have any conflicts or any issues moving forward so anyways let's get into this reading spirit what are the messages for Gemini's for the month of September 2017 Gemini's Gemini's there 
are the messages for Gemini's for the month of September 2017. <laughs> Okay, one last shuffle. Oh, you have cards coming out already. Okay, so you guys have the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of or the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. The Chariot, the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys are starting off the month uh, with a little bit of disagreements, a little bit of arguments. It could be with family because I do see a lot of people surrounding your reading. Um, so it could be dealing with a lot of people. It could be dealing with employees or people that work with you, co-workers, etc. The Five of Cups is feeling depressed, feeling a little bit sad, having to do with something that there is need for balance. So it could be regarding health-wise because Pentacles is definitely the physical. So it could be that you're dealing with someone that has uh, physical issues at the present time health-wise. It could be a relative. It could be a brother, uh, a mother, or it can also represent your kids. Um, and this has brought a lot of stress to you guys, okay? You guys are kind of worried at this point. Um, but moving forward, the Knight of Cups, I mean, the f Pentacles, I keep saying Cups. Pentacles definitely brings slow progress when it comes to that. The Ten of Pentacles is definitely talking about the home life. So that's the reason why I'm saying that I know it's something connected with family members or people that are surrounding you. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Pentacles could be a representation of an earth sign. So it would be a Capricorn, a, Tor a Taurus, or a Virgo. It can also represent a motherly type of figure. Uh, but in a more strict way. So try the best you can to take a good criticism um, or what's the word? I, I wouldn't say good criticism, but a constru constructive criticism. Uh, don't take offense to it and try the best you can to learn from those people that are wiser, for, uh, wiser than you or that are giving you advices in regards to money or in regards to your business. Um, because the Next to the Pentac the Queen of Pentacles, there is a Hierophant. And the Hierophant is definitely talking about a person that is very wise, wise beyond their years. It's a person that knows um, and gives freely advice uh, to the best, always to the best of your interest with no expectations of anything in return. Um, versus, you know, the, the High Priestess is usually more within. They don't are, they're not necessarily excited about sharing the wisdom. Um, but the Hierophant is definitely a person that, uh, I guess flourishes when it comes to giving advice and giving people uh, uh, objective opinions uh, in regards to different scenarios or situations going on in your life. Now you do have the chariot here and the king of wands. So the chariot definitely talks about uh, being able to move forward uh, in a positive way, uh, being in control of the situation or being in control of your destiny at the present time. The king of wands definitely symbolizes a fire sign. So it'd be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or in Aries and this is a person that perhaps reaches out to you regarding anything that has to do with business or regarding uh, something that has to do with uh, romance and love so it could be a person uh, bringing in a new person for you guys because I do see the ace of cups here the ace of cups is definitely a new beginning or a new start to a relationship but the seven of pentacles is definitely here. So it definitely talks about you looking back or continuously keep looking back towards the past. For those of you guys that are single at the present time, it is important for you guys to know that when there is a lot of fighting, a, love, a lot of misunderstandings, if you guys can come to terms to be able to respect and understand each other and give each other support, sometimes it's best to just walk away from that relationship. And when that is done, uh, there's a tendency for you Gemini's to take it very very harshly or to take kind of like the ego gets hurt more than your heart um, and if that's the situation for you guys at the present time it is necessary to try the best you can to stop looking to the past or to stop 
comparing uh, the people that are in your present towards a past lover, perhaps that you genuinely did have deep feelings for, because when you do that, you're unable or incapable of actually receiving new blessings coming uh, forth for you. So understand that and know that. Now you do have the Nine of Swords here and the Hierophant with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, and this is in the very near uh, near future position. So again, try the best you guys, uh, the best you can to not be so mental in your mind if you feel like, you know, uh, speaking out or talking to your partner or uh, sharing your emotions with someone, a close friend or a relative, try the best you can to do so because they will help you see things in a different perspective or with more clarity and not be all in your mind. Gemini's okay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and we'll see from each other soon. Okay, bye.